And welcome back. I used to watching uh, on seats on Ogun State in a television. And my guest on today's program is Alaji Atafiki Alawa uh, FCA. Uh, you already know we have a lot to talk about uh, economy, you know, VAT, you no know, collection, revenue generation, among others. Uh, you welcome to the program once again, Alaji. Thank you. Okay, now let's uh, let's talk about issues. And um, you being a financial uh, expert, uh, an economist, if I could use that, uh, let's talk about VAT no collection. The data has been on for some time now, where uh, the southern you know, governors of the southern parts of Nigeria, I uh, believe, uh, the federal government is not being fair enough with uh, the uh, distribution of uh, money, of funds, you know, uh, from. Uh, from that, the you know, distribution of that, uh, basically, uh, what the northern uh, governors uh, have said, let its let status quo uh, remain. Basically, uh, collection of that, FIRS or uh, Internal Revenue Service uh, from or, or collection by states. Uh, what do you think? No, um, the issue is beyond the the arguments. I don't believe in this north-south thing. You know, uh, we, we want to want talk of Nigeria, we talk of Nigeria and the citizens of Nigeria. Now there are only two types, the good and the bad. So now if we are governed by laws, then we have orderliness. The argument of uh, VAT is more of um, assessment and collection who assess and who collects before you talk of distribution. If you go with the history of uh, how the modified value added tax you know, uh, is operated, it is about consumption. Consumption is about individuals in that particular location, okay? Production will lead to consumption. So if you are producing, then you create the consumers for your services, products and services, okay? The argument of uh, distribution of VAT collection was settled at the initial stage. And that was why 65% uh, of the collection is shared to the states, 25 to the local governments, and you know we now have 15 percent i think started from four or five percent you know now it's now up to 15 percent by the collecting agencies that's the frs but is, the, is, is that fair is that fair enough uh, fairness is uh is a word that uh you know is defined by the uh environment in which we are operating, okay? Um, but the issue is how, what has been your contribution to the pool that we are talking, we are talking of uh, four, five, 10 or 15 percent, whatever, you know, what is your own uh, and how, what is the ease of collection? You now talk of the, 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 the process of that collection and assessment. An average uh, for VAT collection, it is mutually from the uh, community, the citizens, okay? And then it depends on their goods and services that are valuable. Majority of the goods that we are producing you know, in Nigeria for now, uh, under the, the uh, they are not, you know, the processed foods are the ones that are, you know, valuable. You understand, but basic things about farming, you know, farm products, you know, processed, you know, it's exempt from that. You understand? Mm. Because for for states uh, that uh, contribute immensely uh, to that to that pool, that again is where there's, there's a difficulty. There, there's no. I mean, if, for example, you want to state Lagos State and River State, for example, majority of the VAT, you know, that they collect, that is deemed to be collected from there are either from the ports, you understand, not the manufacturing concerns. You, you follow what I mean? So, and now the services that are now rendered may have been rendered, you know, sales for example, you produce 
uh, you import goods, you know, through Lagos, and now you sell in Kano as a business entity. If you have paid the input back in Lagos, you know, when you now go to Kano and you sell, you now put your, you know, you are putting the burden on the consumer. So the way it works now is but, that but whatever you when pay, you go to Kano, yes, uh, whatever you, you pay, you still pay another VAT. Yes, that's what that's the one that the state government is pushing for now, and that we are saying, no, as, as consumers, we, we, that will not be a, that will be additional. If you watch Lagos, for example, now they have on the hotel and o occupancy and something, apart from the five, uh, seven and a half percent VAT, they charge you five percent, you know, hotel and occupancy thing, which is a burden on the consumer because of those services. Because uh, in June, for example, according to uh, Governor of River State, uh, Rivers uh, generated 15 billion uh, naira mm -hmm. and um, was uh, given uh, 4.7 billion naira, mm -hmm. while uh, Kano generated 2.8 June billion naira and also got 2.8 billion at the exact you no know, uh, amount uh, the state generated. Uh, for Lagos, 46.4 billion naira and uh, was given 9.3 billion naira. So looking at it from I mean, that point, no degeneration. Now, the degeneration is if, if, uh, it's, uh, it's arithmetic because the, the, the what has been recorded for Lagos, for example, will have record, in, uh, included the, VA, the, one, the ones that are collected at the ports, not about you know, what the citizens of Lagos has. It's now about imports you know, that were cleared through there. You understand, and majority of even the companies that have their head office in Lagos, you know, administrative office. Let's say, for example, you have companies in Ogun State, for example, uh, Nestle and whatever. They will be recorded to have generated the VAT in Lagos. You you follow? So the the interstate uh, commercial transactions are sort of buried in that uh, in, in in the process. But, but in that situation, uh, Kano State uh, got the exact amount that it generated. Do not up to they, they not up to what Rivers and Lagos. They should watch other other months and see, you know, what the, the issue is. Uh, we are talking more of in society. If we are expected to dig deep to the that you know, if we go the, with the way the rivers and Lagos states are going about it, they will be lose. They will lose on the long run because the federal government will take more. Whatever is now collected at the uh, the ports in those states, you know, it now goes to the federal government. So you are saying uh, there's no point uh, taking this to court. There's no point uh, no, de decentralizing the, 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 the collection. The conversation must continue. All right, but. The system can be um, can be improved upon, but uh, with the central agency, this we have a uniform taxation in Nigeria. I think you know it is better administered, you know there, and uh, we can have more. Um, we can have more as one entity looking at it than for a lot of. I mean about 37 or 37. Uh, internal revenue looking at it because you know what you now have what will happen is a lot of arbitrages will happen so are you saying uh, more should go to the states uh, currently uh, the no, states more, more is going to the states the, the states share but the states share 50 percent <coughs> why uh, the federal government get 15 15 percent so we are saying that uh, 36 states uh, well if if uh, FCT, uh, 36 states and fct uh, we share 50 percent while the federal government would take 15 you know percent then the local governments you know share 35 percent so if you break it down and look at okay how much is going to each state and that uh, the federal government still gets uh, somehow the lion, the lion share. Only looking at the leaf, but we look more at the root. You understand? And without the solid root, you know, in fact, is you know, I mean, what I what I mean by the root is the question of how accountable are the local business entities. You understand? You know, the state government are not encouraging the local government, you understand? So, but they're only looking at the, what the federal government is doing. 
the 25 that is going to the local government, that's supposed to go to local governments, or 30, is it 25 or 35? 35. 35, yeah, look, they are, how well is it being managed in terms of collection before you talk of the, why, why are all of us waiting for what is coming? The one that we are locally generated, if you look at our tax system, the, the approved levies and the taxes you know, in Nigeria, the local government has more. And the business community keeps complaining that, look, this is multiple taxation. That they'll tell you in political terms, it is a function of the federal system we are operating on. Multiple taxation because a local government um, will collect tax. Their own, the no states state will, will collect, their own, collect no federal, federal government, government will, will collect. <laughs> so, you know, so they say, well, it's a function of, I mean, that, that's part of that. It's a pol pol political structure that we have. You understand? That is why, you know, the... But, but, said, but we're looking at leaders of, of government. Yes. Uh, that uh, even so though... So, as a businessman, mm -hmm. you, want, you want to deal with one, and then, you know, you finish with it. Not a question of, uh, you know, having to now dance But around. as a tax expert, yes. uh, how feasible is that harmonization? Are, we, are, are, are the business owners, are the entrepreneurs are saying everything should be harmonized so that they just pay into one pass? Uh, yeah, this yeah. discussion of, okay, how much are we getting, we want this, we want that, that discussion will also come up again. Well, that is where the issue is now. We, as I said earlier, the conversation must continue because it's part of the discussion. It's an ongoing thing. If you want to be, we are, we are against uh, the issue of, you know, a lot of, I mean, uh, if you watch it, you know, a uh, lot of agencies that you have to deal with, paying taxes, one charge or the other, you know, taxes, levies, and, and that is really, really uh, hindering business progress. You spend a lot of time, you know, with regulatory authorities than, you know, doing your business. Despite the fact that maybe technology has really made life easy, you know, it, 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 we have sent people to school, uh, fortunately, you know, they have not been, uh, they have not been uh, allowed to now, you know, create the records that can now be audited. Yeah. But, 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 but basically about, about that, yes. uh, you are comfortable with, uh, with the system we have on the ground, uh, the centralization and the collection, you know, by if, if the... It is, if, it, if it is part of the law as it is, you understand, then we are now talking of how do you operate that law. So if you want to change it, then you know, go to the law you know, and, and change it. The, the Constitution says, you know, look, consumption tax is, not, is neither here nor there. Okay? So, but the BAT law, you know, was now made in this 2004 to be part of the accepted, uh, uh, accepted law in Nigeria. And they are, you know, Lagos State has gone to the court, you know, they have... Uh, because it's not expressly, it's not, it's it's not, not explicit. It's not, it's not, so so that, I, on that ground, that's, that's why, yeah, that's why. You know, states are saying, so, it, I think they found a lacuna, yes. which is not expressly stated, stated. that it should be collected yes. by, by FIRS. Yes. Uh, but we are, we are just looking at, okay, uh, how, how will things you know, pan out if the states are now collecting they are already that okay could that be is to why, multiple that is, why multiple that is why the business community is in this in a confused state. Complying with the law as it is now, you know, is what you know we are that's why I'm saying okay, let's stay with what we are while the conversation continues. Yeah. Because when when we were states uh, a governor or when we state government, you know, got that favorable ruling uh, from the federal courts, you know, in in, in Porter Court, I think uh, business owners were confused. The state, um, the river state government, uh, said they should pay tax, you know, um, uh, to the states. Our uh, federal said no, it should it should be paid, you know, to the federal government. But I think uh, this may just uh, get to the Supreme Court, and then we have a final uh, ruling on that. Yes, uh, you, you, you talked about multiple taxation, uh, but uh, as it were, you know, it seems Nigeria still needs uh, more, more revenue. Uh, recently, the Federal uh, Inland Revenue Service uh, proposed the introduction of road you know, infrastructure tax in Nigeria, saying uh, it will make the informal sector contribute uh, to building a modern sector. Yes, uh, this uh, it did generate uh, mixed reactions here and there. Uh, we're talking about taxing artisans, you know, again. Uh, the, you as, a, as a tax expert, uh, what, uh, what's your opinion? Well, the, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ongoing conversation. 
but the, we are against, uh, as uh, business people, we are against this earmark taxes. There are only two taxes that, you know, uh, that should be, uh, you know, either income or expenditure. Income tax or expenditure tax. VAT is part of what we call the expenditure tax because it's based on your consumption. So it is easier to collect the, the, the so supposedly, you understand, because, I mean, it is, uh, but when you now keep having, we had a lot of uh, argument, you know, the, with the introduction of education tax, you know, but I mean, politically it went because of the military, this thing. And you now have electronic uh, tax and, you know, it's confusing. I, you know, against, I'm against any, all this introduction is because of the failure of the authorities to uh, properly implement the law as it is. That is why we are thinking of um, creating other taxes. I mean, it's, uh, we, we're creating so many silos that we are uh, getting ourselves, you know, uh, uh, into silos that are not necessary. On the long run, it is showing uh, the, uh, 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 that we are not a serious uh, group of people. Uh, but uh, well, um, government at all levels are, are clamoring for uh, more, more revenue. So Revenue for what? Well, deficits in infrastructure development, uh, they are a for, lot, for, a for, lot for, to for, do. For now, it's typically, you know, in, in, the, in the community, you know, you deal with the Okada riders, don't they have their union? Are they are not paying charges? You understand? Then those people, if they are licensed, you understand? Is it not a charge? Okay. Now those individuals, if they are, you know, uh, their income, they are supposed to now have pay, be paying income tax if they are registered by the state internal revenue services. So. What, where are we, where are we? So how are they now making use of those taxes? If they are properly collected and accounted for, then this infrastructure deficit we are talking about, you know, will not be there. And each person will now uh, value his service to the community. We are not valuing ourselves. That is why we keep thinking of, okay, I mean, I have a short poll here. Let me look for where can I make more money. But, but I mean, a lot goes into you know, governance uh, with current expenditure, you no know, capital expenditure. Um, Naira to dollar, the exchange rate now it's uh, it's it's very high. That, that, so that, that, that's an area I do not even want to comment about because the I'm against anything you know uh, comparing Naira to any currency. Because the, the, the advice uh, that uh, comes you know, from, from your sector, the financial sector, is always uh, government must uh, increase uh, the revenue drive. That's, that's always the hard advice. No, the yeah. advice that comes from us is about accountability, whether public or private sector. And that, is, that word, you know, is what we should stress. Not the, the value is now dependent on you. I mean, when you write E down like this, we can look at it four sides, and that's what an economist will tell you. Some will see it as E. You know, if I'm looking at it as if it's, uh, it's uh, uh, W, others will look at it. You, know, you understand, there are only four sides to every argument. So, but what now separates them is the law. What does the law say? You understand? You can always change it because that's why they say, okay, I mean, we now have assembly of people to now, you know, uh, moderate as it goes because. What, what is certain is that two things in, you know, you are alive, you pay taxes, you know, and then you know, the, the end is you, you're, you're dead. Uh, well, uh, when we also talk about accountability, I think uh, your, your sector, you know, partly is also in charge of that because I know that uh, the, the, the finance, the finance ministry is, is one key ministry that uh, you can't just put anybody. It has to be an expert, you know, to manage that ministry. And it, uh, also across all states, it, no, one really, no one jokes with uh, that ministry. So now that you're talking about accountability, don't you think that, I mean, I mean people from your sector also have um, a big role you know, to play in that. 
So if we are saying, okay, there's no account accountability, but then we should also point fingers at um, economists, as financial experts. That's what I mean. But the accountability starts from you. When last did you obtain receipts for your transactions? Well, it depends on uh, where one gets. Uh, if, if, no, if, if, if you go to a supermarket, uh, for example, well, you get your receipts. Now, okay, you have you, no, no, that, that's part of that part of you know what I said that you know we are mis we are mis we are missing it. It doesn't have to be a supermarket to get a receipt. Once you call it a market, an exchange of value, you need a receipt because it is that your receipt that will form the basis for your tax return. Every community, you know, mm. those communities but we are looking at will now expect you to render a tax return, which will now determine your income tax that is payable. Mm. That, is but why, I mean, that is why a certain I, part I, of the, your expenditure, mm. your income, mm. is, is given as an allowance. But how will you tell, how will you tell uh, the woman in the market, you know, selling uh, lettuce, selling vegetables, to say, okay, uh, you must give receipts on a 50 naira, you know, worth of vegetable, uh, the, the buyers uh, must collect receipts. Uh, we, we know how informal, you know, that's, that could be. No, that, so, no, again, that's, that, no, that's part of what, what I now term development. Why should you be encouraging informal? Because with informal means, you know, it's not in the record. But almost every society, almost every society, allergy has uh, to, uh, we talk about the informal sector and the informal sector. Majority, but well, what is now the ratio? The uh, majority of those what you refer to as informal in those uh, economies are regulated now by the payment system. The, so there's nothing informal there. When you go to you know in, in, in any shop, you understand uh, any market there, you understand you are paying with your card or you know other you know e payment system. It's, that means somebody somewhere is recording. You, do, you don't follow what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So you enter any shop, you know, uh, any, in a, any of these uh, corner shops, they call it over there. They, they, they're like somewhat, uh, they, that's we lead to more taxation. For example, if VAT uh, excludes you know, informal sector. You know, you don't, you don't pay VAT when you go to, uh, I mean, the major markets where you buy your, your, your where you buy your vegetable. You no know, VAT is when you go to supermarket and you buy, you know, certain, anything you buy, you know, then the VAT is already calculated. You, you sit in your, in your receipt. So somehow, VAT excludes, you know, the informal uh, sector. But now you are saying the informal sector should also be rebranded, should, uh, should also uh, be, should, should be made formal. Then so which means that the informal sector will be made to pay no such taxes. And we need those... They are those already money. paying. Yeah, that's what I mean. They are already paying. Because whatever you are buying from the manufacturers includes VAT. So you are changing yourself by not, charge, by not collecting because you are just a collecting agent. Just as the, man, the producer has done. Okay, uh, but in the case when it's not uh, a processed food, when maybe raw materials, uh, what yeah, what we grow, what we grow here, yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, when I talk about the informal sectors, uh, many of those raw materials, uh, vegetable, you know, you, you get that in let me let me use the informal market. So if you are now saying okay, the informal the informal market or the informal sector should be made you know, formal. So don't you think uh, because now that the FIRS is saying low tax, we want artisans you know to want to collect taxes from artisans. Is that what they are looking That's at? That's part of what we say that, look, the, 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 we are getting to that because we are confused about what, who and who should do what about accountability in society. You understand? For uh, the man who is riding Okada, in purchasing that machine, he has paid VAT. You understand? And there are now tax laws that allows him to say, okay, claim capital allowances for a certain number of years. So for not keeping the record, he's now being made to pay more. You don't understand. So the, 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 the way the Western world you know, operates is the fact that they want to encourage production. And to encourage production, if we have continued the way they've left it, we will have been making our own equipment now. But we, just, we are just consuming. 
and we leave them with the production bit. That is why the Naira will remain the way it is. We're going to talk about the He Naira. Uh, yes, uh, that, has no, that, that has now come into fruition. Uh, we're talking about the tar currency. Uh, CBN says that uh, Nigeria is the uh, first country in Africa you know, to have such, you know, to have initialized that, uh, this particular initiative. And so, uh, what do you see? What are expectations with this? Yes, uh, there were tiffin problems. Uh, some people complained after that um, box here and there with the app, with, with the disappearance of uh, the app from uh, Play Store. Now the app you know, is back. In 24 hours, uh, over 100,000 downloads you know, of, of that app. And, but people are yet to uh, fully you know, understand, okay, what's, what difference? Well, the essence of the INARA is to promote accountability in society and transparency in transactions in the payment system, okay? And to ease the value creation in communities such that a typical, you know, I mean, I think uh, app is just one aspect of it. With your ordinary phone, once you have a wallet, you can be able to, you know, to, to transact in e, e, e Naira. So this app, yes, is good, but the issue is we should stress more in terms of the portability and the interoperability of the e Naira. More in terms of, you know, this using their USSD and you know, mm. other, other, okay, other, instead other, of, other, instead, you know, so okay, instead of okay, you, you're looking, you, I think you're looking at the informal sector and that, 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 how many, how many. That, that, that is what we encourage the informal sector mm. to now formalize their transactions because the whole essence of the e naira is to reduce the stress mm. on the printing mm. and circulation mm. of naira. But, but the question is that that um, woman you know, selling a vegetable at Zangba Market uh, will she be able to you know, operate that wallet? Is she presently not uh, using the telephone? So long as it's using the telephone. But that's USSD. You know, it's yeah, 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 it's sure. quite yeah. down the simpler. No, that's no, yeah. that's the, the issue is you know it should be now you know it's harmonized. That's what Inara is supposed to do. So that between USSD, you know, up and you know uh, this thing, it's, it's a different. The, the, that's the blockchain they call it. The Inara is now the blockchain to complement the Naira. Okay, well, uh, Alaji, let's uh, talk about our debt profile. Um, the DG of the Debt uh, Management Office uh, reviewed uh, that the country's public debt stock uh, stood at uh, 35.465 trillion uh, naira as, as, of, as of June no, no, 30th, no, 2021. Uh, but it seems uh, the federal government uh, still wants to borrow. Uh, what I think my question is is Nigeria under debt uh, distress? That, in, that is, uh, is a relative question, whether, you know, under or over. Um, we still, FTC is still boiling down to a question of uh, locally to grow, you need to borrow. And as an individual as well, I mean, we are all living in borrowed times. And the earlier we realize that, the better. So, because as I said earlier, for every bat, the end result is death. So is the borrowing too much? The borrowing is not much if we, if we see the value that, you know, that they have used the money for. Because whatever uh, value, uh, in the society, you must learn to pay our rent. Okay. Once you are alive, it's about paying your rent. So, I mean, so the value now is question of, I mean, how, uh, as they say in tax, is it reasonable? You know, we understand, you know, wholly, reasonably, you know, exclusively, or necessarily, you understand, in, in, to, to you. And that's a personal thing. But as government, you know, they will always be talking of ways of regulating, you know, taking more from you. But what about debt servicing? I think that's where, uh, oh, the, concern, that's where the concern is. Uh, the experts, you know, tell us that uh, debt servicing takes a large chunk of uh, revenue. What about that? Because of the fact that maybe the, we are not capturing uh, many people in our, we have the population, that's what they say. 
you understand? There are already 4 million Nigerians that are registered by INEC, you understand? But in terms of voting, how many people voted? Okay? Now, to us in the financial services, nothing is free. There's no, fr no free thing, in fr even in free town. So for value addition and value creation, you know, what we do as finance experts, really, it's recording. We are only witnesses to your toil. So now, what I now share with you, you know, is depends on what I have created. So uh, what we talk of to artists, to talk to, you know, the, uh, what we call the manufacturers and so on, uh, they have also have their own process. What input before you talk of output? So it's, we are only witnessing activities that are carried out by residents in a particular location. And now we now sort of manage it. But as far as the, if you talk to some Washington uh, consensus people, we are underborrowed. Underborrowed. Underborrowed? Yes. With their still more, uh, there's, there's need for more mm -hmm. if we are doing it well. So the citizens <laughs> must now appreciate that. Okay. But your sector you now tells us that uh, I mean, it's, the government is borrowing too much at every point. Uh, there are all these concerns. Uh, why should the Senate approve uh, this loan, approve that loan? Uh, but you saying it seems we are under borrowing. The borrowing, you know, is uh, relative to the value that you derive from it. What I mean is that if you are borrowing to uh, improve the life of the citizens and is seen, you know, then I think it's, uh, it's a good debt that you have acquired. But because, as I said, the interest of every individual... Is it not seen? Seen. Seen, yeah. You said if you are borrowing and we can see uh, the, the use, uh, the real project, for example, uh, the, 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 loan, the, the loan the federal government took for China you know, was used to finance that. Now we're talking about Abuja, Kaduna, a real system. That's what I, mean. no, I said uh, you know, there are mm -hmm. good and bad debts, you understand. So, but when you are now talking in terms of the quantity to say whether we are underborrowed or, or you know, uh, we are overborrowed, and that you know, it's leading to now the servicing of those debts, the, it's, 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 in, in, you are still not talking of the same circle. Because if you did not borrow, you will not talk of servicing those debts, okay? But what you have used those debts for is what, uh, if you use it for the good of the citizens, then the cost of uh, servicing those debts will not be you know, seen as a burden because the people are getting value for the borrowed money, okay? But we, are, we have sort of not seen the value for the borrowing, then we, we, are, we are in trouble. You, you follow because no nothing is free, as I said earlier. You know, then the issue now is how do you manage the resources that you have borrowed to build, and how do you now maintain it? Okay, so it's uh, it's, 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 it's it's a it's a loop that we are all in so long as we are alive. Well, I mean, for, for, from your own standpoint, uh, I want to ask, uh, do you think uh, the, the value is, um, is okay, is quite okay? Because if the land chunk of our revenue goes into debt uh, servicing, yes, as, as it stands, as it stands now, uh, is it worrying at all? Is, is there any need to, uh, for Nigerians uh, to be worried about how we're borrowing? Uh, looking at all indices now, all, all, all indices. So long as the economic managers are able to uh, provide value and the citizens appreciate it, then I won't say it's too much. So I'm still comfortable with it. Mm. But that is with if the managers are properly utilizing those resources. Yeah, well, well, you're in Nigeria. <laughs> no, you, don't give an so, you don't give an example of mm -hmm. the rail, for example. Mm -hmm. You understand? Which is sort of part of ease of doing business in Nigeria. You know, it has really improved. Okay? But there are other sectors that are calling for. Because once you have the improved rail, then the stress on the road is reduced. Isn't it? So it's like 
as economists would say, you know, you, you have to balance the ball. You are, you are always juggling it. So when you're not looking at only one side and criticizing it, then you are not even, because we are not all, uh, we don't have all the information. The government is supposed to have all the information. So we can only have our own input, you know, into it. But those people that are now contributing to even the, because loan, it's about, uh, it's about savings in community. If the majority of the citizens are the ones that are loaning government money, you understand, then what are we talking about? The, that's where the interest rate now comes in. What, is, what sort of the, the interest rate are you paying as an individual for the loans you have taken? Because you must, I mean, debt you must incur. All of us, you know, we are only, you know, repaying debt, you know, I mean, uh, even in local uh, mm -hmm. balance. Okay, uh, the World Bank and ranked, um, recently ranked Nigerian fifth on the list of uh, 10 countries uh, to which it has the highest debt exposure. So, I mean, when people see uh, things like this, uh, they, they tend to, you know, worry and believe everybody the government is um, doing too much, is borrowing too much. If we're talking about an IS debt exposure, the, for you to acquire debt, then you must be seen to be accountable, because your your creditors, I mean, they will be uh, they will be hoping that you are not dead so that you can pay your loan. But as a country, you understand, you know, it's uh, it's the fact that maybe you have people willing to lend money to you for good causes is good. Okay. So, but, which is what the citizens must also appreciate, that, uh, as uh, my local people will say, you know, if you want good things, then you prepare to pay for it. And as such, you cannot value your own education, you know, and then your contribution to the community. Yeah, we well, have uh, repayment of loan. I think that's where uh, the, the problem is because it's, yeah, at, at every point in time, if we keep borrowing, uh, then uh, it will keep accumulating. Uh, it will keep accumulating. We keep borrowing. Uh, it's not as if uh, the next uh, dispensation won't also, uh, won't also borrow. The, 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 so, you know, if you watch, if you watch I mean, um, uh, the local and the foreign loans, you know, we must separate them. Majority of these loans are now, you know, uh, Provided by the pension fund. That's domestic. Domestic. Yes. yes. The, 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 yeah. The, okay. The, but so but I'm, 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 I'm looking at no, 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 I want, to, I want to link it. I want to link it because I mean, what is uh, this? When you have local savings that you attract foreign uh, debt, if you are locally not saving, not seem to be saving, then you will not have external people trusting you with your own money. So I want to encourage more Nigerians to patronize, uh, to open uh, uh, savings accounts, you understand, individually, personal savings, uh, retirement savings account, you understand? If that is what will now drive us to be able to you know, uh, avoid issue of these our pensioners, you know, disturbing us in their old age. Uh, but now that government is borrowing from uh, from pension fund, uh, yes. talking so about domestic what loan. What you, uh, service, what you are talking of servicing them now is going back to the society. Unlike, you know, relying on foreign loans, which, you know, you could now be worried about, you know, I mean, the cost of, uh, you know, servicing those loans because the exchange rates will not wait for you. The local uh, Naira is much more better for you than for you to borrow from you know the external sources that's the point that i'm making but the, to get that one to, to work the local people must learn to save and it's only when you produce consume when your own uh, uh, your consumption is lower than your mm -hmm. production that you can now save okay. you understand? But, but, but another dimension to this is uh, when you borrow externally especially from countries uh, it could get to a point that uh, those loans can be cancelled that's what, because in some African countries are looking up to the Western corner and saying, uh, some of the loans we've taken from you, can you just, you know, uh, forgo uh, this, uh, these loans? We've uh, seen that in the you past. Are, you, are, you are increasing your dependency on them because once you are borrowed from somebody, then you can run your life. What we are saying is take charge of your life. 
Do you understand? If as an individual you take charge of your life, you know, because we are an aggregate of what we get in government. It is our activities that, you know, the government now try to put law and order in place to make, I mean, uh, to regulate. So what we want to do is to encourage the good side of the, the success of the Chinese. It's not about the, it's not only, you know, for the, uh, it's not only about relying on external borrowing. It is the internal people, and they are it's reflected in their lifestyle. You understand? Because once individuals are thinking of saving, you understand, then the uh, others will appreciate the uh, the production that the products that come. So the costs will come down, and the more you are able to now get the uh, more done at less time, then better for all of us because we are living in an instant world. Okay, and now let's uh, shift to first subsidy. Uh, IMF, World Bank now telling the federal government uh, remove no first subsidy, uh, but uh, the remover uh, we also that it has ripple effects. Now, recently, the Minister of Finance uh, says, uh, well, uh, the first subsidy uh, regime will be extended to next year, no, June no, 2022. Uh, so, remover or no remover, which one do, uh, do you think will all go well you know, for the economy? No, it's all fraud. There's not is, uh, um, uh, that is uh, uh, subsidized. It's all about fraud because it's uh, the production process of 